Hi all, uh, in this video we're gonna see how we can use uh, Llama 2 7 billion parameter model with the help of uh, Google Colab free tier, okay? So if you know or if you have tried before then you might know that if you try to load original uh, uh, original Llama model, even this 7 billion model into the Google Colab free tier then it downloads the model but it runs out of memory when it is trying to load the model into the memory. So the session just crashes and you won't be able to use uh, uh, this model in the free tier. So we're going to use bits and bytes. Okay, uh, uh, we, we, we're going to understand this blog post here which just performs quantization. Now quantization is simply uh, converting you know high precision numbers to low precision numbers so we're not gonna go into these uh, details okay for now we'll just see the implementation and how it is implemented uh, how it is implemented okay uh, so this is all I'll, I'll be posting this uh, link in the description so you can check it out so you can just uh, here are the uh, detailed steps which they have given to get started with bits and bytes bits and bytes is just some sort of library which helps us uh, load the model in these quantized formats okay so they so that they will take less uh, gpu memory okay so we get started with this now the first thing you will what what you need to do is you go to runtime and you select the GPU runtime, okay, in the Google Colab. Now this, you can see that this is a free tier, uh, and we're gonna try to run Llama 2 in this, and then we'll further try to integrate Langchain with it, okay? So first of all, we're gonna connect it, okay? And then we'll install the necessary libraries. We'll also monitor uh the resources we're using okay and i'll show you that this can be now it is connected that this can be used <clears throat> first of all we'll download the necessary libraries <clears throat> now as you can see uh all the necessary wheels dependencies libraries are installed uh now we will proceed further okay now here we will first log in through the hugging face command line okay uh, you can find your token in your settings in your profile so here it will ask you for the token so i've given it the token no okay so you can see that login is successful uh now comes the most important part here we are using the standard uh model and tokenizer uh from the hugging face transformers okay so now you'll see here is the most important parameter uh, load in 4 bit equal to 2 okay so basically uh, uh, again this, uh, this this bits and bytes library is already uh, integrated with this uh, you can find this here integrated transformers using the bits and bytes library okay so this thing when you when you pass this parameter uh, it will automatically quantize that model it will automatically download the quantized model uh, so that it will take a place memory okay so let us see how it works now you can see that uh, the model is downloading okay there will be the downloading chart so th this is the first one of my almost around 10 gb you can see that uh, now we will also monitor the resources okay you can see that here so that we can check what exactly uh this 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 uh, model is taking up okay how this model is using resources so i can you can see the disk space going up obviously because this is downloading this model now you can see the model is uh, model has been downloaded okay uh, and now you will be seeing that it will be loaded into the ram okay you can see here you can see these two system ram and gpu ram so the model is being loaded into the ram 
Okay, now you can see uh, we're done loading the model. So it, it takes up almost around 5 GB of GPU RAM and 3.5 GB of system RAM. Okay, so this is within the free limit. Okay, so you can see that this is a free tier. Okay, uh, now we will create a pipeline. This is a standard method for creating pipeline. Simple. All these parameters are passed. Okay, now we have created the pipeline. So uh, now we have to input the text, whatever prompt which we are going to use. Uh, let us say any any prompt. Uh, maybe write a short poem on uh, a tree which a tree uh, which grows inside urban area and is frustrated just random text i'm just generating random text okay this is not the right way to prompt actually but we just have we just into the demo so uh on. wait 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 now this is done and now this will actually generate the output okay so let us see now you can see we have the output okay in a concrete you can see so now we're able to and you can see the time it took to uh, generate the output it it didn't take a long, long time uh, whereas if you use this ggml uh, formatted you know llama cpp models then it it takes a bit of time to generate the outputs okay uh, so this is a very good approach to use a uh, lava model now we can also actually integrate it with uh, uh, langchain I'll, I'll show you so you can say from langchain import it's like hugging place pipeline i guess What are the suggestions? Ah, oh, yeah, hugging face pipeline. Okay. So again, you will say, sorry, we'll, we'll, we'll create an LLM instance. You will specify this pipeline, this pipeline over here, generate text pipeline. Okay, this was just a pipeline, so this pipeline is to be specified here. Okay, okay, fine. And uh, suppose we are going to say prompt equals whatever, you know, in this case, we're just going to say prompt is going to be this text or whatever, you know, just copy this one. And now you will be able to see LLM prompt equals prompt. So now it will start generating the output. All right, so we have this output here as well. So it took 13 seconds, as you can see. I tried using uh, Lama model first, the original model, without uh, without this uh, quantization, but the google collab free session used to fail or used to crash so then i found out this amazing approach and with this approach you can simply build a lot of uh with this approach you can simply use this model in free session and this is also powerful it is not uh, generating false outputs here you can see that it is a pretty good outputs uh and close to the original models 
output okay so it's not like it is generating some sort of rubbish outputs or something so yeah so this is how you can use uh, llama 2 model in uh, google collab free sessions okay uh, that's all thank you